All right, we're back with BMX Streets Pipe, and this time we're at the skate park of Tampa. So let's get into it. So yeah, this map came out not too long ago, and I think it's actually taken from something else. I'd have to go and look it up where it came from and who made it. Um, I'll put that information in the description, but it's a really, really nice looking park, like texture wise and everything. This game tends to have some issues. I think it's quite hard to texture match properly and everything like that. So this is really cool. Like I really wanted to have a go at this, even though I'm, like I've said before, like a bunch of times, I'm not really a park rider. It's not my main thing. But when it looks this good, like, I think it's worth a try, right? Okay, so the first thing I wanted to play around in was this thing here. Like, a double ledge thing. It's not really the park, it's more the stuff around it, but me being me, this is probably the stuff that I'm going to find more interesting. I don't really know what I can do from here, to be honest. Uh... I didn't really think it out. I just thought it looks interesting, so let's see what we can get out of it. Could I 180 this? Ooh. That was kind of a miracle, because that's super narrow, but I'll take it. Uh, is there anything else we could do on that thing? So yeah, the other thing I was thinking was using that like green, blue, yellow ledge to get to the ramp there. It's kind of like a weird transfer that's not meant to be a transfer, if you know what I mean. Like this isn't a proper ramp in the park, but... Oh, there we go. I'll take it. Than what I expected. But then again, what do you expect from this game? It always gives you something you don't plan on. Happy accidents are kind of what makes this game interesting sometimes. Oh dear. Right, what else do we have? This game looks to glitch out as well. I kind of wanted to hit this wall and like. I don't know, figure something out. Depends how it works, I guess. Unfortunately, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. The walls and those ledges are a little bit too spaced out and there's not a big enough gap to like go in between or anything so still as a thing it worked it was something interesting getting in between those two ledges I wonder if there's anything we could do going down this big ledge like a manual or something it's ridiculously steep but we could maybe figure something out there's all this stuff up here as well this it's actually more interesting to me than some of the stuff at the bottom. But yeah, I don't know what that says about me. It's actually quite thick as well. So like that'd be pretty cool for some manual stuff. We have some options. Uh, can we get on that? Well the camera even led us. Oh. I don't think it's grindable to be honest. It's not like, oh, oh, I don't think it's actually like a proper rideable ledge, but if you're lucky like that, yeah, bit of a wild one. Actually, yeah, 
I've always done it on the front wheel. Get up. Go on. Yeah. On the front wheel. Like, I always like doing... I can't even do it. It's bad, isn't it? For some reason, this trick's not been working so well. Yeah, that thing. Oh, that little 360. I guess you can do that. Whoa. You can, like, tight up those... That's pretty interesting. I think that's all I ever do in these videos. I just go around and go, oh, that's interesting, that's interesting. Okay, I think that was a happy fluke. If the peg touches, maybe it bails. Maybe it should just be the back wheel only or something. Nope, that doesn't matter. Yeah, the other thing was this. It made me think, like, I guess you can do that as a 360 down as well. I'd always done it on the front wheel. I never really thought about doing it the back wheel way. Yeah, it kind of works. Need a bit of a bigger drop to make that look better, but... Cool, cool. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. Because this thing just has walls surrounding everything. Plenty of options for, like, these sort of tricks as well. Let's just find the case of what would be most interesting to do this on. I really kind of want to play around more on that thing, see if I could get up the quarter and onto that ledge somehow. Maybe as a, like a tap or whatever. Ooh. We're literally just playing in this one corner of the map. I apologise if you've seen something else and you really want to see like what can be done on it. And I'm just doing this one thing over and over. Alright, we need more speed. But this is just the way I play these games. I like fixate on little obstacles and things that appeal to me for whatever reason. Oh, what was that? Is that like a sprocket stall or was that the back tire? Yeah, you can definitely do something cool on that. It's just going to take like a miracle. You need to be perfectly lined up. Ugh. Get over it, like just tap on top. kind of highlights another thing about this game that the more you spend on one obstacle the more you kind of learn the nuances and pick up weird little bugs that you find just riding it shit I naturally landed on that it wasn't locked on or anything and it looked really nice Oof. well I'll take that. I wanted to see if something like that would be possible. Whoa. Oh shit. Let's get back up again. Okay, we've got a little tech pat rat dice. Up here. Like, do something on the rail. Hop over to a grind. Something. Uh, I don't know, it's feeble. Double peg. Got all this set up as well. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> that was totally not supposed to happen. That wasn't locked on or anything, it was just a fluke. And uh, now we're on this. Now what do we do? Jump down. Yeah! Two. Something on here? Nope. Bail. Okay. 
overdoing it. This is super interesting. on this thing. Uh, try and manual onto that. That could work. Could it? I don't know. Shit, we didn't make it. Yeah, like, more than I expected, this park's giving me a bunch of cool stuff to try. I like all this sort of stuff around the edges. That's where I get my kicks. That's not even... Does that not have like... Okay. It's like an invisible rail, I guess. Which sucks, but that's life. Ugh! Yes. That didn't actually take that long either. It was a complete fluke, like figuring out the right angle and speed and everything, but we got it. No reliance on magnets or locking on or anything, you just have to get everything spot on. Cool. Alright. There's one other thing. These, like, whatever these bench things are called, stands. Kinda wanna like, manual over the high, the seat parts. Yeah, okay. I think it's about time we go down to the park, or just at least move on to the next section. Time it was locked on, but pretty cool. Okay, well, we got another crazy lead set up. It's even thinner than the other one. I think we could get something on that. How would we even get to it? Is this thing up top as well? Uh, let's try getting on that wall. Oh wow, there's actually another wall underneath. To end the video, I'll try like riding the park properly, just flow around a bit. Because, yeah. And it was okay. We can do better, I think. Ooh. Landing wasn't completely like smooth, but you can forgive me, can't you? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. Immediately bail after I say that. Right. Done some crazy stuff. Let's just try enjoying the park for what it is. Like as an actual skate park rather than do everything but ride the ramps. But you know, actually I don't know if anybody else has made any videos on this map. So I was going to say you could just watch somebody else if you want to see like proper park riding, but then again nobody's really covered it. I wonder if the old potato's done anything on this. Seems like a, it seems like a map anybody would like to be honest, it's really high quality. It's like one of the best looking pipe maps I've seen in a while. I guess it's because it's taken from another game. Is it taken from another game? I really should like remember to look this stuff up. Yeah. Oh no. But that's the thing, like I'm not really a proper park rider, so I'll just end up doing this little like tech stuff everywhere. And I'm satisfied. But I don't think anybody that watches the video is satisfied. If that makes sense just like for my own <laughs> sense of happiness and nobody else's. Ouch. Uh, what else? Let's 
see, I immediately start thinking, what else, what else? I can't just ride a park normally, I've got to like, think of something weird to do on it. It does flow nice though, like it's just really well made, obviously it's based on a real skate park. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for, this is a really good one. It's got that kind of feeling of a solid loop going on, you can just go back and forth, or you can like, make a loop circle around it. A bit like the hood shit map, I guess. Obviously, here you gotta do some transfers type stuff to get around. And also not hit posts. But I don't know what how can we end this? We need an interesting way to finish this off. Maybe maybe I'll just flow around a bit and if I see some crazy thing do that as an ender because you know I like my weird stuff that's what I'm here for like tap yes yeah little tappy tap tap stuff jibby stuff tappy tap I'm coming up with my own language now to describe what I'm doing need to focus though otherwise that happens okay one more attempt attempt at flowing around the park. I'm already off to a bad start. Uh, what was that? Then we'll find something weird to do. Hard, unexpected, interesting, weird, gappy stuff. Gappy tappy, you name it. Just kind of let you see the map, get an idea of how it flows. Again, I'm not the best representative of Oh, those are steps. How one of these maps should flow properly, because I don't really pay attention to that stuff, if I'm honest. Uh, and we died. So, what, what can we do? Do you think I could go up this, wall ride this left, like the back wall? hit that wall as well and get down this ramp. No? Well, I'm going to try anyway. And also that last attempt at flowing around the park was complete shit, so let me try that again to finish the video. My usual ride till I die method. There's got to be something we can get off this thing. It may just be a speed problem. Oh, we may end up just getting some weird fluke, if you know what I mean. A happy accident or a happy discovery of something else. Shit. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Except seeing that happen made me think it might not be possible. It seems a bit like... <laughs> you need a minor miracle to happen there. It's originally like... Whoa! Again, it was different to what I wanted to do, but it was interesting. Yeah, I'm like getting a different result every time I do this stuff. So if we get one that looks super cool, we'll call it there, I think. Yes! I actually got it. That was a miracle. I was close to giving up, to be honest. But we got it. Perseverance pays off. Into the post. Right. Okay. So, to finish up, uh, just cruise around, see how long I can go. I've given up trying to ride the park properly. I just want to do it in my style. I think that's the best way to do it. Not stress too much about what's cool or the correct way to ride a park because there isn't one. There isn't a rule book. Same with the way of playing this game. Realistic, unrealistic. Either is okay. That went wrong. Let's have another go. 
yeah, like, it's one thing making videos for this. I was always curious if people hated what I did because it wasn't really what everyone else did. But in the end, that's kind of a positive, right? Same for Skater XL and everything else. It's all just like a method of expression to me. The tool doesn't really matter. It could be a scooter game for all I care. Like, using these sports as like a simulation game just to kind of like interact with an environment and do stuff in an interesting way is just really appealing to me for whatever reason. Like I could do this forever and have like a million ideas. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, and just like, I don't know, enjoy whatever any of these games, as long as it's like simulation based. I'm not really one for like Tony Hawk. I know a lot of people love it. That was cool. But for me, it's the simulation aspect, kind of mimicking real life, but doing it in my own inter interpretation of it. Ah, shit. Here we go. Yeah. Kind of got a bit rambly there, but I'm kind of embracing my own weird style when it comes to this game. And I don't know, people seem to like it. The views have gone up slightly recently. And I guess just because I'm uploading more and people are commenting more and getting more likes and everything, so I'm really happy about that. Thank you to everybody that keeps watching this stuff. I didn't really believe many people would, but clearly people like it, so I'm really happy about that. Please continue to do so. Like, comment, let me know what you want to see, because I like challenges. If you give me a map, I'll try and be as creative as I can on it. I want to go back to the um, 2.0 maps. And also like the base maps as well, like the really... I can't remember what it's called, like the training one, and see if I could make a video out of that. Like really limited, nothing to do, but even then, what can you get out of it being creative? So tons of ideas, tons of things to come, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.